In this video, I am reviewing this filla partner E1 4 spool filament dryer by Shitu Systems. Inside the box, you will find user manual, it's quite detailed, and you will get all the information you need from it. It comes with two filament boxes, both can hold two spools, and dryer base. The dryer base has a Type C socket, it's used for firmware updates. Here seems to be uh, some readiness for some more ports. Power inlet port and power switch and screen. It's tiltable as well, not by a large angle, but you won't need more. Under the base is small fan, which probably cools the electronics components. And there are cutouts for cooling also. There are box position numbers 1 and 2. The base includes holes for the box feet and cone shaped alignment pins. These help you position the boxes easily and ensure they remain properly seated. There are one air inlet and one hot air inlet for each filament box. Hot air outlets as yellow warning sticker. It works like that. Air inlet fan sucks air from the filament box to heating element, then heated air goes back to filament box. It's not just blowing hot air inside the box. There are four filament outlets. Two on the front and two on the back, allowing you to run up to four printers while print drying your filaments. Four powder tubes are included to guide the filament out if you wish to use the boxes during printing. If you are not using these filament outlets, you can seal them with silicone blocks. There seems to be two holes back of the lead. I didn't find any info about these inside the user manual. I don't see use for these. There aren't any plugs either. When these holes are open during drying, I think it's not a problem. But when you store filaments, moisture can get in. Boxes can be opened and closed with these knobs. Inside the box is spool rollers with bearings. There are desiccant bags at the corners. They are accessible by removing the rollers and then you can remove the leads. Card slot with humidity indicator guards. Usual when storing filaments. They are also easily changeable. Two options for language. From the settings you can change temp units, screen off time, firmware version. System language can be changed between Chinese and English. Reset to default and some information. It has automatic drying feature. The dryer will automatically start when the humidity exceeds 50 and stops when it falls below 25. Is this a necessary feature? Is my question. Before you start printing, you will want to dry your filament. After that, you can feed the filament directly to the printer. I don't think this humidity inside the box will rise above 50 during the printing process, even for long prints. If it does, then the boxes may not be suitable for storage, at least in my opinion. This dryer is very easy to use. You just put your filament inside the boxes, connect the power and flip the power switch. You can find recommended settings here. Hit the play button and drying starts. I also have one spool inside the second box. I will choose box 2. You can change settings manually. Both boxes can be set to different temps and time. On the screen you can see the current temp and target temps, current humidity and time left. Trying will stop when timer ends. Little more than 3 minutes in, humidity inside the box dropped from 51 to 24 and temp went from 23 to 45 degrees. These quick changes in temperature and humidity don't really show how effective the filament dryer is, so I did a small test. I took 3 different filaments and dried them for hours. I printed same print with same settings before and after drying. Here are the results. This is ZIP PLA before drying. This PLA is quite old and I have stored it on the shelf without the box. And it's after drying. This is very big difference. Before it has so much stringing and now no stringing at all. Also layers are cleaner. TPU before drying has stringing and layers weren't good also. After drying much better. Wood PLA printed before has stringing and also it broke. After 4 hours drying. I did try it once more for 4 hours, second one is better. 4 hours wasn't enough, total 8 hours much better. There are still stringing but much less. 
If I will try it more and change little bit print settings, I think stringing will completely disappear. These filament boxes can also be used to store your filaments. After trying, you can close the holes under the box with plates. They are held in place with magnets. Also close the filament outlets. They can be placed on top of each other. If you forgot to remove the plates before trying, it's not a problem. You can start trying with plates on. You can't place the box on the base correctly with the plates. And there is small switch that is needed to be pushed down to start trying. If you remove the box middle of the drying process, it will also shut down the dryer. About the noise it makes, it's not loud. If your 3D printer is working same time, you hardly notice it working. Power consumption during 4 hour drying with 4 to 5 degrees took about 150 watt hours. Overall, the filament partner E1 works exactly as promised. It dries up to 4 spools at once, keep humidity low during printing, and its modular design makes it easy to use and store. The resistive touchscreen isn't the most sensitive, but the dryer performs well. It is well built and independent temperature control per box is great. For the price, it's a solid upgrade for anyone who wants cleaner and better prints.